Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Keptendo and we are back here again ready to play more Inscription. Now I'm trying to remember where I was. I remember I got the squirrel thing. Yeah, okay, so I got the squirrel thing with the- oh, <laughs> his eyes. <laughs> so I got the squirrel thing with the um, unkillable whatever. Uh, I got a fish hook and a knife. I haven't used a knife yet. Uh, I have the amalgam. I have two of them. I know I screwed up. Because I picked the I picked a second amalgam instead of picking that um, the mantis god or whatever that could attack three spaces, which I was gonna fuse. I did get an idea though. If I can like fuse the mantis into one of these amalgams, um, and then fuse the two amalgams together with like the the mushroom thingy or whatever, like like what they did here at the alpha, then that would um give me just one amalgam to use, but I don't know if that's good. I might be better just having two. <laughs> uh, trying to think, I don't really have anything else that's good. I have a bunch of, oh, you, I can see all my teeth I have here. So this is just like my inventory kind of. All right, was there anything else? I I feel like I, uh, I feel like there's something since the last, ooh, since the last recording session what was it? I feel like there was something since the last recording session that I wanted to try, or at least an idea. I think it was something for the cards. I think it was just that card idea right there. I still can't talk to my old card here. Hmm. Get some extra teeth, I guess. Add that to my pile. <laughs> yeah, I don't think there is anything else. Um... I, I honestly, I did think about just like trying to brute force that. I'm not sure if I will though, because who knows how long that would take. I'm sure eventually I'll figure something out. But we'll go ahead and get started and I'm gonna go get my cat out before. <laughs> Ugh, all right. <laughs> all right, I'm back. <laughs> so we are here in the snow place. So that means that we just got done beating the fish hook guy so we're gonna go here to the cave i th this is that cave where yeah it is i don't know how he gets his eyes smaller like like the spacing shrinks i don't know but um ooh, trial power the three drawn cards must have at least four attack power to pass trial of wisdom three drawn cards must have at least three sigils among them to pass oh that sounds kind of tough blood cost combined Oh, jeez. Oh, good, I can look. Okay, so attack power of four or higher. Every card I have has attack power, so that's literally the one I'm going to go with. Sigils, I'm not going to go for sigils just because there's one, two, three, four out of them that don't have sigils. I guess, I wonder if these are counted as two. One, two, three, there's four that don't have sigils. My best bet is to go, what about blood cost? And I got some bones in there and I got the, I'm gonna go attack power. That's the safest one. I think it's the safest, we'll see. Oh, yep, <laughs> immediately. Oh, one from Contendo, one from the Bullfrog, and one from Reginald. All right, trial passed. Oh, it drew three cards, not four. But I guess, yeah. Oh my goodness. All right, what do we got? The Bloodhound, the Wolf, and the raven. I almost, I almost left clicked. <laughs> I don't want to do that. Uh, what do I have? I have a wolf here. Bloodhound. I, I think I'm gonna get the wolf. That seems like the best bet here. Out of, out of the other ones. Uh, now we can either go power something up or get extra items, which we have three out of three items, so we'd only just get like an extra pack rat. So we're gonna go here and power something up. Ooh, it's one attack power. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. Um, <laughs> hmm. attack power 
I'll give it to the amalgam. Yeah, yeah, we'll do this. The survivors are right about the flames. They had enhanced the creature's power. Spotting a few of the survivors drooling, you made a hasty retreat with your amalgam. All right, and we're gonna do a battle. So, I, I, I guess the battles have been pretty easy <laughs> this run. <laughs> What do they got? Uh, the deer that'll move over. Um. Hmm. I'm trying to think. Oh, I could get the amalgam out. Oh, I could do that. Oh, I could actually win right now. So if I take the squirrel and I place the squirrel down and I sacrifice the squirrel to make the sparrow, I'll get the squirrel back in my hand. I'll place the sparrow here just for now. And if I take the squirrel again and place the squirrel down, I can summon the amalgam by sacrificing these two. Now, if I put the amalgam here, because that thing's not going to kill it, We'll do that just in case. We'll put my squirrel down again and we'll get the mantis. And there's our five damage. <laughs> I love how this game works. <laughs> oh man. Okay, we'll go ahead and attack. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, I have a really good run here. Um, That just gives us another... Whoa, 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 what is that? Oh, it's another totem. I don't really need any other kind of totem thing, though. Like, the, the infinite squirrels, honestly, again, I don't really see any point in getting anything that isn't the squirrel head. I don't really get it. I don't, I don't get it. I don't know. I really don't get it. Um, I'm going to go pick this card, and then we'll go to the campfire and power up something again. We'll go here, the moose buck, the worker ant. Ah, the diligent ant. Its strength is proportionate to the size of its colony. Uh... I don't have any other ant cards. That's the... Honestly, other than the ant queen I got that one time, I haven't gotten, like, any other... Well, I think I had a worker ant and an ant queen, but I think that was just given to me. Phew... <sighs> Pronghorn. Huh. Yeah, I really don't know. I guess I'll take the pronghorn. Because I, I would need other ants in order for the ant to be viable. I'm not going to go for the totem. I'm just going to go and power something else up. group of starving survivors stood around the dying campfire. There is room for a creature around the fire, one said. I have the same voice for everyone. <laughs> one of the survivors said nothing at all, but could not stop licking their lips. So it's two health. Uh, we're gonna give that to that, where is the amalgam? There he is. Yeah, we'll just give it to him. Oh wait. Yeah, there we go. I, I didn't do that right. <laughs> Alright. As one of the survivors began pulling a knife from their pocket, you went Drew. Alright. Let's see. What do we got? Elk fawn. Uh, what, what do I got here? I can win in another turn. <laughs> All right, I got this. <laughs> uh, 
We'll put him down there. All right. <laughs> this is okay. Yeah, I, I think that this is better than the three blood cost. Just because if you get three squirrels anyways, then you never need any more squirrels. Or if you get four squirrels, then you can just have an unlimited defense while you draw for other cards or something. Um, but yeah, so we'll go ahead and sacrifice you and sacrifice you. Put you there. And we won. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've gotten too good at this game. <laughs> okay, I got a bunch of teeth. One on the house. All right, that's all I'm gonna take. Just four of those others and a free one. Because I don't wanna draw a bunch of them. Um, it's more like if I get to the trapper, hopefully I can trade. Ooh, what do we got here? Oh, that's, we got the fusing thing and I still don't remember what that is. We got the fusing thing and we can branch off over there. Okay, so this is good. This is good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my one amalgam. Yes, this one here, the four attack, five HP. And we are going to fuse the mantis. Yeah, we'll put the mantis on him. So now he can attack twice. All right. And then when we get up there, we can fuse him with the other thing, with the other amalgam. So I really only need one. Especially at this point. Um, squirrel. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, oh, I know. I remember what I was going to talk about. I remember. Okay. So when I was going back through the recordings, little stout here told me about um, that there was another talking card. I was thinking it was the caged wolf that we broke out. And now we just got a permanent wolf, but that's not a talking card. He said that there's another talking card hidden somewhere here that, um, and that's like the only one who knows how to get things back to normal or whatever. So I got to find the other talking card. I don't know how, I still don't know what's happening to him. He's just turning into a stump. I don't know. Maybe the next time I come through, he will be a stump. <laughs> All right. So what do we got? Um, Ooh, that vulture. I don't like that. All right, so let's do this. Put the squirrel down and then we'll get the stoat out there. We'll put the stoat here. Yeah, yeah. Let me get another squirrel. And then the wolf. And we'll put him, he was saying something. <laughs> we'll put the wolf here, I guess, for now. And that's really all I can do. Oh, good. That fur is going to block that vulture from uh, attacking for that turn. Good, good, good. So we'll go ahead and attack. Okay, so now we draw another card. Ah, crap. Uh-oh. That doesn't look good. Uh, draw. Or attack. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Something good. Ah, oh, no! <laughs> this is why I didn't want to get the things. Um, ah, uh, they can't do anything, so no. All I can do is just attack. Oh, he survived. Oh, no. Oh, good. There we go. That's a, that's what I was hoping for. I will put him down there. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. <laughs> he just saved the match. Um, anything else? No. And that raven egg is blocked by that snowy fur. So that's good. Um, yeah, yeah, we're good. We're good. Boom, boom. Okay, he just saved it. That's why I was really <laughs> so glad I got that. Um, salutations. Hey, I got enough bones to get you out on the field. I mean, we won anyways, but still. Y 
Yeah. So I, I could see how having few cards is good. Um, because then you have a higher chance of getting what you want. Unless you got the magpie thing, you can just choose what you want. So what do we got? Ooh, the pernicious vulture. Pernicious? Per I think I think that's right. <laughs> a tyrant of the skies. A nascent raven. Oh my goodness, these words. It is no less conniving in its incubation. And Bleb Tendo. <laughs> yeah, we'll pick Bleb Tendo. Mm. Yeah, we'll pick Bleb Tendo. I was going to pick the Vulture because it could attack from the sky, but... I don't know. So we're going to go here, and we're going to fuse the two amalgams together. Do you have... They are not victims. Oh, he's about to say victims. I, I, I could fuse the, um... Uh, the what is it? I, I could fuse the wolf. Together. And then save my amalgams. I could do that. I feel like that might be the safer choice. The amalgams would just be really strong, but like... I know what's coming up, and I know that I do have the chance of losing the card. If I can't like... I don't know. I might I might just go for the wolf. Because these guys no matter what if they die, they die and then they'll just come right back to my hand. I'm going to go the wolf actually. Yeah, I'm going to fuse these two together so we should get 6 attack, 4 HP and uh, a little rank up on the thing. This procedure. It is grisly. Look away. Oh. <laughs> There we go, six, four, all right. What have we done? <laughs> okay. You know what's cool? I, I just saw a video of somebody making like their own fan versions of the cards and they use magnets so that you can attach sigils and like move them around. It's like they have like magnets under the cards and stuff as like part of the card. I thought it was a really cool idea. Ah uh, yeah, the greater smoke. Trapper sat hunched beside one of his traps, slowly cranking it open. He gingerly removed a mangled hair from the steel teeth, but left the trap unhinged. <laughs> yeah, you should have come here. <laughs> Alright, you got my squirrel. Ooh, good, I got the Captendo card. Alright, I got this, I got this. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. And I'm not going to put anyone else down because I don't want to lose any other cards. Well, I guess I, you kind of want to lose the greater smoke to get the bones. And if I put it here, it will at least, uh, it, it will get an attack in. I'll put it here. Because you do kind of want to lose that. For the extra little bones. There we go. Oh no, I forgot he moves. Oh, I forgot all about that. <laughs> I forgot all about him moving. <laughs> no. Uh, let's go ahead and draw again. Ah, uh, there's Reginald. That old Reginald. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead... Yeah, we're not going to do anything again. Because I'm scared. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll just attack. Ah, uh, there we go. Good. And then we'll go ahead and attack again. Oh yeah, he got five attack now. Draw again. What do I hear? I hear like an engine. Okay, it's gone. <laughs> There's like a plane flying over my house. <laughs> it was getting picked up in the mic. All right, but yeah, so we're back. So uh, I'm trying to draw a card so I can get more pelts. Yes, yes, there we go. 
That's what I'm hoping for. And then we'll go ahead and continue. Because the second phase, he lets you trade pelts for stuff. Ah, it's the end of my turn. Yeah, that was... I really liked that whole... Okay, okay. Ooh, jeez. Okay. Oh, I think it just put all my, my pelts in my hand. I guess I didn't have to worry about that. Uh, I hope you brought pelts. Because these creatures are prepared to rip your throat out. Trade for what you can. But know this, the rest will stay and fight for me. Um... Okay, so there's like a, there's a hefty, yeah, hefty. All right, we don't want that. There's the shark, but he can't get attacked anyways. The toxic adder has the, the burrower when an empty space would be struck. A card bearing the sigil will move to that space and receive the strike instead. We don't want the turtle getting any stronger. <laughs> Snapper. Oh man. I guess I'd pick the raven as one of them. Because it can attack over things. The bear, the grizzly being hefty is kind of... I, I don't like things that kind of like remove your uh, your level of control. Like, like, I don't think having this hefty perk is something that you need to have control. Where you're like, oh, I, I need to move a card. Because really, you kind of just place them where you need them in the first place. So you don't want them moving after that. <laughs> I guess unless something's coming their, like their way and you're like, oh, I gotta get it moved, but, huh? Um, let's see. I mean, I I guess I could take the bear, and I'll take the raven. Um. I'll take this. What was the thing? I didn't get to keep him for the next battle or something? Or it was just... I, was that it? Was it that I didn't get to keep him from the next battle? I really have no clue. I don't remember at all. We'll take this other thing here, because that's also the same. Very well. Alright, alright, alright. So... Um, I'll take another squirrel card, because I'm going to need that to sacrifice for things. So, we're going to go ahead and attack him, so we got to get him out of here. Uh, the raven requires a two blood cost. I got two squirrels we can do that with. So we'll put that there. And we'll take the other squirrel here. And then... We'll make this raven go here. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking. <laughs> Yeah, I'm really thinking now. Yeah, this should be fine. I'll just put it here. How many bones do I have? I wish I could just look and see how many bones I had by like hovering over it. It looks like I have five, if that's that's a fifth one right back behind there. I don't know. Uh, what else are we gonna do? I'll do this. I'll, I'll put a squirrel here. And I'll sacrifice it to make the sparrow. I wish the sparrow I will put here. I know that this has a guard, but that thing's gonna it goes the attacks go left or right, so Keptendo is gonna kill the rattler anyway. So I'll put it here. And that'll be able to attack him directly. For that turn. And then I'll just put another squirrel here for the toxic adder to kill the squirrel. That'll go back in my hand and give me an extra bone. Actually, I guess I... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I have seven. That's still not enough for the vulture. What 
just happened? Oh, he attacked me directly. Because he has the winged. I didn't. Uh, I didn't see that. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. I can get the, the vulture this turn, though. Ooh, a golden pelt. So I guess I didn't pull all my pelts from the thing. Um. I have enough for the vulture. Well, I'll put the vulture there. Okay. And anything else I want to put down. Will I win? Two and five damage. How much how much health does he have left? Oh yeah, so that's five alone. I just need five. Alright, so that's five enough, and then I get an extra hit there. Yeah, we won. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to <laughs> see how much more damage I can get. But no, this is fine. Yeah, there we go. Alright, let's see what we got. Ooh, another amalgam. <laughs> Ooh, the Mantis God. Okay, we're gonna pick this one this time. Yeah, always big Mantis God. Yeah, yeah, always. <laughs> You sneeze as the thick musk. That is not what I thought it said. <laughs> you sneeze as the thick musk of pelts faded from the air. <laughs> A sense of finality. Finality. Oh my goodness. I have... Has that been used so far during this Let's Play? I don't want to sound dumb. I'm going to sound dumb. But I, I don't, I've never seen that word before. <laughs> I probably read it the last time we, we beat this. <laughs> oh man. Oh yes, I know. There we go. So we're gonna fuse. I have toxin, right? I do. I'm gonna save Reginald for the moon. If if it still plays by the same rules, you know. Uh, so we got this other amalgam here. Actually, we just got a. Oh yeah! Wait. I should have two amalgams. What? Wait, I should have two amalgams. I already had two amalgams. Oh, wait, no. No, 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 this is right, this is right. I already had two amalgams. I had the option to pick a third amalgam, but I chose the Mantis God. I, man, <laughs> my memory. All right, so we'll do this, and we'll put this on him. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, that would be great for a card, but no, that's fine. Do this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and now they're being uh, immortal because of the other thing. So now I have two good amalgam cards. Alright, alright, let's do this. Surely this cabin marked the end of your travails. I if there's going to be anything different. Ooh. Oh, oh. That looked weird. Okay. I don't like how the texture on the trees is moving. Uh, I, I just want to click on it. That's a, that's an actual suit of armor. I wonder if that's like a bear trap? No, I don't know. I What is the secret here? There's another talking card. I don't know. I don't see any secret, though. I'm, tr I'm trying. <laughs> oh, there we go. Let's do this. Will you, uh, will you oon my burns? <laughs> That's how I read it in my brain. <laughs> Alright, what do we got? Uh, Trial of the Ring. Yeah, I'm definitely going to pick that no matter what. Uh, Trial of the Finn. Can I look at my cards here too? No, I can't. Not one bit. Alright. Pick the ring. Because this guarantees a boon. 
Okay, we pass. My most powerful boons. Mm, we'll see about that. Okay, Bone Lord. That's nice, I guess. Ooh, the Magpie. If I don't get Ambidextrous, nope. Okay, uh, Magpie. Okay, okay. Trial of the Swift. The three drawn cards must include a, a whatever a sprinter sigil. Three rare cards. Oh, but do I get to keep my vultures? Because when I think about it, I only have the Keptendo card and I have the, the deer card. Those are the only two I believe I have that have the sprinters thing. When it comes to the flight one, I'm pretty sure I have... I have the vulture, I have the raven, and I have the... whatever, when it comes to rare cards... That, I don't even think I... It, oh, I think it's, it's out of the three cards. But I don't really have a bunch of rare ones, just the two amalgam cards. I'm gonna go this. Oh, please, please. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I should have picked the sprinter. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I got both of them too. <laughs> ah. Alright. Dang it. Well, at least I got the magpie boon. I don't think there's anything else special about this. Oof. Just one boon? Very well. well hey, calm down, man. <laughs> I didn't know. I literally said it out loud what I was hoping for, and it I didn't get it. Why did it turn me around? I, I didn't like that it snapped me around to face him. All right, all right, we're going in. I was just checking to see if there's anything extra hidden, secret that I unlocked once the lights went out. Are you ready? I'm ready. Well, Let's looks do this. like I'll have to beat him again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This will be your final test. Another flame. But I know how this works. You don't count that, though, for some reason. Even though I beat the miner first. Okay, what do I got? You know, I could actually... No, because I don't have five bones. Never mind. I was going to say, I could actually win this. This first turn. Oh, he's got an amalgam. I got an idea, though. <laughs> um... Wait a minute. I could block his amalgam. Already just threw my plan up in smoke already, but that's fine. <laughs> um, I could block his amalgam. And then I'll just do this. Oh no, he's got another one coming. That's fine. I could, I could, I could do it. <sighs> do I want to draw anything special though? I'm going to get my cards out. <laughs> um... So I know he's going to hurt me. <laughs> I could put the squirrel there and sacrifice it. 
Oh, I could have done that for the extra bones really quick. Aw. That's fine. Hey! What? What? He can just... What? I didn't know that was gonna happen. Oh, that changes everything. Oh, man. Okay, okay. Ah, uh, jeez. I got this. Oh, it's up to you. So I'm going to put you down there. I'm going to use my hook to draw... What if I saved the hook for the moon <laughs> and just pulled the moon to my side? I might like to try that. I might like to try that. Hold on. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> Wait a minute. Don't do that. <laughs> I actually want to try that now. Um... You keep away from my... Oh, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Take the gold nugget. <laughs> go ahead. Keep the gold nugget. <laughs> Did he move his hook? No, he didn't. Oh, no. He's going to steal my card. Um, I need a draw. I do need a draw. <laughs> You're right. I do need to do that. <laughs> um, <laughs> what was I... Uh, the, uh, the amalgam would be fine. I'm gonna take the amalgam. Yeah, yeah. And I'm going to put you there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, go ahead. And... I'll put you there. I guess. I don't know. We'll, we'll do this, yeah, 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 and then we'll and then we'll just attack. I, mean, I guess I didn't need to because it wasn't going to be another turn after. The moon-soaked uh, forest bed gave rise to shadowy figures, gasping for night air after the long and torturous slumber. Ah, yes, I remember that one, Casey and Kaminsky. Mincy's not going to be here for very long. <laughs> I hope I don't take damage from destroying that because it's not out yet. <laughs> um, I got nine health, so I'm good. It's me. Hey, and hold on. Not yet. Uh, I think I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm, I'm not. I'm just going to. We'll take uh, take the we'll take the amalgam out, the other amalgam. All right, and then we'll just attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh oh. Here, all right, here we go. <laughs> but I can't take the moon if it's on. Will that push my cards back into my hand? This ought to work again. <laughs> So he just he just announced that yeah this is the same thing. It still works just fine. I uh, I'm gonna pull a squirrel card out. Because I do have an extra squirrel there. I do wanna try this. Can I do this? Oh I can't steal the moon. 
There's nothing that can be hooked. Maybe it's because I have all of, all of this in the way. I'll, I'll let this play out. I'll let this play. I mean, I can't really do anything else anyways. Those are going to go back to my hand. That'll just give me bones. I guess I'll, oh, I shouldn't have pulled another squirrel. Uh, I will do this, though, because I'm going to get bones. I'm going to let this play out. I might actually kill it before it. I'm going to kill it before it kills me. Unfortunately. Oh, wait a minute. No, 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 no. Wait, I, I can, <laughs> I can sacrifice. <laughs> I forgot all about that. <laughs> uh... I can sacrifice. I forgot. I'm sorry, me. And I'm sorry, Alpha. It's probably a dumb idea. It's gonna put me in a lot of trouble, but, um... You know how it is. <laughs> alright, alright, let's do this. Where's Reginald? I'm gonna need him. In case this doesn't work. Anyone else? <laughs> Get everyone out here. <laughs> oh, where's that thing when I need it? The the uh, Kraken thingy. All right, this is it. 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 Okay. Uh, uh, I, I have a bunch of squirrels. I don't need any more. All right, get in here. Yep. <laughs> all right, all right. Oh, no! I can't steal the moon. Oh, I thought that was going to be like a secret achievement. Oh, man. Well... I thought I was being smart. <laughs> all right, all right, let's do this then. You're going down. <laughs> all right, I right, put the squirrel here. And we'll put the other squirrel here, and we'll use that to summon the this amalgam. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. We'll put that there. <laughs> You're going all out. Uh, we'll take. He needs two, right? Yeah, he needs two. So we'll take another squirrel. Good thing I didn't put Reginald down yet. Uh, then we'll take this squirrel here, and then we'll sacrifice both of those to get the wolf out. And then we'll put him there. Yes. Yes. And then we have enough bones to get Reginald out and he'll just destroy the moon in one hit. <laughs> but go on. Oh, I don't like how you said that. Finish it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, I didn't give me extra. Dang it. That's what I was hoping for. I was, I was hoping for like a ton of teeth. <laughs> no, that was that was the sound there, I think. What's going on? Oh. You had won the respect of the strange cabin's inhabitant. Your body quaked as the adrenaline of the battle subsided. Leaving you with a gnawing hunger. You had not eaten for days. Is it not so? Uh, surely this food will please you. I took extra care in preparing it. I don't like it. Really? This does not meet your standards? Very well. Oh, good. I, I, I backed up and apparently counted it as something. Stand there. Can I talk to him now? Is there anything I can... Alright, let's just click on this.
yes that's my legend or whatever i didn't i i was, I was clicking too much <laughs> and no it does not function without a loaded film roll dang it you are a champion and i wish to memorialize you uh <laughs> not kev <I> no <laughs> be still now you won Oh. Ooh, this is different. The dagger. What about it? I have it. Was I supposed to beat the game with it? Whoa. Another challenger approaches. Your predecessor defied the odds and defeated me. It isn't likely to happen again. Here's your deck. Study it. What, what about the dagger? What, what about it? Uh, and there's the goat. I don't get what am I supposed to do with this? There's more guys there. <laughs> Captendo, not Captendo. There's got to be something. Yeah, it's, it's still 10. There's something about the dagger. What? What is that hanging off of his head right there? Can I do something with the dagger? You can't use that right now. Huh. All right. You know what? I'm going to try and brute force this. <laughs> I, I, I don't see any, any other puzzle I can accomplish right now other than if there is another puzzle to this, which is that bottom part. Because that door is the same as that one. It looks like that would open. Normally it does. So I'm going to try and brute force this. So I will be right back whenever I get it forced. <laughs> yeah, this is my method. <laughs> This is exactly what I did in Dishonored whenever I got to like the the codes and stuff for like some of the safes if I didn't have the actual safe number. I just did this. Okay, so we we did half of it. All right, so we did half of the clock. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm getting bored. <laughs> All right, so the knife, the knife, the knife. There was nothing extra in this. Yeah, yeah, there's nothing extra in these. Yeah. Just to make sure. Okay, there's nothing extra in that. Oh, okay. So so the knife, the knife, the knife. Alright, so I guess we'll move up and we'll get a free card. Uh oh, the cockroach. Oh hey, there's the cockroach. Uh oh, the honor porcupine. Sharp quills await those who dare attack it. And the pronghorn. Let's take the cockroach. Alright. Uh, ooh, what cards do I have? Um. I don't really have anything I want to use the cockroach on. At least not yet. So I think we'll hold off on that. And instead we'll go power something up. a creature by the fire enhance its power okay so we're gonna enhance some power here uh let's just get the wolf up there because that's who i was really kind of going to use it on but i'm not sure about that yet this would be risky 
Push your luck or pull away. Oh, I can do more? Oh, let's try it. <laughs> Might as well. Luck was on your side. Perhaps one more moment, but you sense the risk is now even greater. Push your leg further or, or run back. We're going to run back. No. So now I can actually use it as one of this. Begin okay. So I, I guess I can actually use my card from there now. So, all right. <laughs> I don't want to push it. Okay. Great draw. Thanks. So. <sighs> um. Where do I want to put the, uh, it does two damage. Oh, that'll take out my frog. All right, let's do this. All right, now let's try the knife. I was thinking like, well, what if I use the knife on like the moon or something? Maybe I can use it, but it, it, it place the weight on the scales. The pain is temporary. So if I do that, that should at least help me win and maybe I'll figure something out. Oh, ah, it, <laughs> ow. <laughs> oh my eye. <laughs> That's not my tooth. <laughs> I was like, what am I going to, oh, geez. Uh, oh, it moved it up four. One, two, three, four. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, can't really see now. <laughs> um, all right. Well, I, I, I should just win. All right, I won. <laughs> Believe it or not, you're not the first to lose an eye here. <laughs> This isn't much fun if you're half blind. Perhaps you'd like to replace it. Oh. Oh, whoa. Ooh, what kind of eyeball is that? It has like two pupils. Ugh. I'm gonna take the glowing one. Oh. Find salvation in Cuckoo Clock. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yes, that is better. <laughs> Much better. Regardless, the choice is final. Oh my goodness. Huh. All right, let's let's find salvation in the cuckoo clock. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, whoa. What is this? 1. What do you mean one? Oh, the globe, the globe, the globe. Aw. What the? What is this? What does it mean one? One. I think that, I think that's a one. Uh, no, 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 no. Ooh, ooh, I just missed it. This one. Wait a minute. I already went over this, though. I literally, I went over this. Ooh. <gasps> the stunted wolf. Take the film roll before he sees it. Now, what are you doing over there? Turn to face me. What are you up to over there? Nothing? None your business? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, the eye effect is gone. Is it, is it just gone forever? Oh, I guess that's just glowing now. All right. Oh my goodness, stunted ro what? <laughs> stunted wolf. Oh my goodness, my words are gone. Hmm, I don't recall making that one. What? Whoa, what is that? You don't recall making that one? What? The bell ring. The refreshes. What? 
the re represented by this something something I can't even well yeah I'm gonna pick that one <laughs> I gotta pick it yeah oh okay totem totem time oh my goodness you came upon an old wood carver who fixed her intense gaze upon you um So I could get a bunch of bones, but I'm gonna pick the blood cost. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cause that was that was good last time. Uh I don't need to do the harder fight. I could just do the the that fight and then I don't have anything to fuse either. <gasps> yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay, we're gonna few. Whoa! What's happening to Stoat? What is happening to you? Stunted wolf. He's getting like mechanical now. Okay, uh, but we do want to fuse, so we're going to go here. I have to thank you. How has it been? It has been quite bad. I am trapped in the body of a stoat, in the paper of a card. I see that, and I have, of course, set up a way to reset once more. Go on. Our player friend here. They already hold the key. You're stuck in the body of a stoat? So you're not a stoat? What? <laughs> uh, okay. What's our... Okay, it's two of those guys. Huh... Oh, they hit for two. All right, let's get the stunted wolf out there. Oh no, they hit for two. I don't want them to kill him. And we'll put you there. Yeah, don't worry. You'll you'll live, I think. <laughs> What is happening? You're stuck in the body of, of a stoat. So that's not his original form. All right, let, let's go ahead and attack. Here we are. Uh, sorry, bud. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, there's the cockroach. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and put that on the other thing. I don't have four though. I guess we'll wait until next turn. So you found the stunted wolf. I have seen this play out enough times to know that a plan is in motion. Make haste. Alright, alright. There it is. But I can't read what it does. I'm assuming it's based on how many times the bell has been rung, maybe how the more it turns in, the stronger it gets. But it, it wouldn't have anything to do with the scale because it's the bell. But we need to sacrifice two squirrels to get him. We're going to win next turn, aren't we? Hmm. Let's do that. Sorry, guys. 
Betrayal, death again. I'm sorry. Two. How many turns has it been? I've rung that twice, I guess. Oh. You have me here, I surrender. He gives a feather? That's what I don't get. He gives a feather. Do I dare? <laughs> I don't accept your surrender. Wait, can I summon something? Yeah, yeah, hold on. Okay. <laughs> two, what does it mean two? What, it, what, I don't get it. I don't get the bell thing. Is it how many times the bell is rung before it was put into play or something? Does that sound smart? <laughs> I don't get it. Okay, okay. Let's do the pronghorn. Uh-oh, I'm about to do a big fight here. Uh-oh. Alright, so... I'm gonna pick you. I'll go. You never wanna go. What the heck? <laughs> Alright, we'll put you there. And we'll put the cockroach in there. I wanna see what that is, though. The value represented by this blah 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 to the I can't remember. there's there's too much blotted out I can't read it all right let's just do this though is this 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 is curious <laughs> this is curiosizing me <laughs> all right uh what do we got here there's another one up there oh no <laughs> Uh oh, wolves get the thing. I don't think I've seen him use a totem in a long. Oh, oh! What my plan nears its moments of truth. But you must defeat him first. Oh crap! Uh, maybe I hang on to it. The bell. Why is the bell glowing? What about the bell? I don't get it. What about the bell? Wait, what if it's how many spaces away from the bell? Would that be a thing? What do we got here? A porcupine. What what if that what if that's it? What if it's however many spaces away from the from the bell? So if I if I put it there last time, that would make it two spaces away from the bell. Which would make it do two damage. So if I put it there, would it be stronger or weaker? Because it is, is it distance away from or, or distance to the bell? Because when you look at the thing, it's got the bell next to it. Let's, hmm. Let's, ah, jeez. I'm really thinking. <laughs> I'm thinking and thonking. Um, yeah, let, let's put it right next to the bell. Four. So it's, it becomes stronger, but this is an assumption. It, be, it be, the card strengthens based on how close it is. One, two, three, four. I guess, I, I, I don't know, but we'll just do that. Okay, so let's get a squirrel out there. Oh, 
Okay. So we'll get you out there. Yeah, yeah, you, don't worry, you'll live. Oh! I forgot about that. <laughs> but we won. Alright, so we need to win. So I shouldn't play to lose, I should play to win. Okay, a pronghorn, a snapper, and a moose buck. I'm gonna go another pronghorn. Because the more times they can attack, the better. And we're gonna fuse here, so... Oh, a prospector fight's coming up. Okay, so, uh, jeez. Um... Who's gonna go up, then? Him. And then give him the pronghorn thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. So he should he should be able to do 10 damage. Oh good. I forgot about the smoke card. Oh man. The trees closed in tight around you, creating an impenetrable brush. The only way out was forward. And the hobble shape of a man stood in your way. Oh no, not this again. Uh yee haw! <laughs> Let me crack it open and take a look. All right. I always get that boulder card. Salutations. Hey, what's up? So that's my assumption. So if it was two there and four there, it should be three there and one there. Damage wise, it should be. Hmm. Okay, we'll, we'll do this. There's the wolf. We will save him though. Uh, we're not gonna get the pack mule. Oh. I should have put the the pronghorn there. Well, no, I don't want to lose that. That yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> well, it, it's just a loss I'm gonna have to take. I mean, a loss on losing all those cards, I mean. But we'll go ahead and we'll continue. All right, here we go. Oh, no, he keeps the cards. All right, so then we'll do this. Put you there. And we'll put you there. Four. Okay, so it, I, it has to be the closer it is. And then we'll go ahead and attack. Oh, wait, he didn't have the thing turned, though. I gotta get the squirrel out. No, that's bad. No, because he will win. <laughs> Wait, no, no, he won't. He'll kill that. Oh, yeah, get him out. <laughs> get him out there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go get him. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll do damage there. I'll kill the mule and get the cards and hit that empty space. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. <laughs> I missed that last time. 
<laughs> there we go. Look at all those extra teeth. Alright. So I gotta win. Oh, what are we gonna get? Mole Man. <laughs> and Child 13. I still wonder... I don't know, that's weird. Child 13. Why is it called Child 13? That's what I don't get. Um, should I get a Mole Man? Oh, the you, you, you. <laughs> I'll pick him again. I, I I honestly feel like offense is better in this than defense. The sound of the, of the prospector's pickaxe still ringing in your ears. You carried onwards. Let me see. Hideous swarm of insects scattered around you. Reptiles, reptiles, slip the slower around your feet. <laughs> You're now engulfed by the wetlands. Alright, so we'll go ahead and end this here. So thank you everyone so much for watching. We're gonna we're gonna get this solved. We're gonna beat this game. We got we got puzzles solved. We got other things done. We got an eyeball. I wonder if it No. Does it, it it's still in effect. So I, I wonder if there's anything Oh what if I need this eyeball? For the forest, and I can look inside the forest and maybe there'll be something glowing there. Oh, okay, we'll have to see. That's a, that's a thing to look forward to. So yeah, thank you everyone so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Bye everyone.